<coughs> in this video I will show how to work Excel scripts to create Excel reports. Let's create scripts. The script should be structured text and bind to the tag. Let's bind to the tag. Bind to the tag. Choose script tab. Enable script and choose our script zero. And if value become true, the script is executed. Let's write script commands to create our Excel file. The first command should be Excel create workbook. And the last command should be Excel save workbook and name of the file. Let's choose example Excel example. Let's check. Execute the script and in the folder where Tesla SCAD ID is installed we should see we, we see our Excel file. It's empty now. All, all other commands should be between these two commands. And let's create sheet for this our Excel file. Excel create sheet and name of the sheet. Let's use value for example. Drink sheet value. Values and we use the name of this sheet here. And and we can see in our file values sheet is appeared. Now we create some styles for our Excel file. Let's use style without color, just style, and let's use style with color. And let's see how this command looks. Create style. It should Excel create style. Then first thing should be name of the style. It should be style, this name. And position in horizontal center, position in vertical center, and position in font size, for example, 16, and bold or not, we use false. Let's use this to create first cell. Excel create cell name of the sheet then hmm, should be number of row zero number of cell from in this row zero then should be should be then use the manual create cell then should be style name. We should use style, and then use text that should you should place here values, for example. And let's compile. Compilation finished, and we'll see our values. 
Now we will place numbers in the cell. Numbers you can use also this command, but more comfortable to use command create number cell. Cell create number cell. All the same sheet. Number of row we will choose two, then zero, then style name and number. Number we will bound to the text value cement. Text. And decimal position. Then cell sheet two first row second row first place in this row file and in the other should be some of these two text values sheet second row second cell style text Let's compile this. Something wrong. Uh, we forgot to choose this one position. Let's some Compilation finished. And let's back to our screen and run it. You can see a value of cement, value of gravel, and let's print. When print Excel comes from the false to true, we can pre become get our Excel file. You can see values. If we change values and also then true, you get other values. See here. Now you can use color style, for example, or We use this name for this style. Then center, center. Then font size, bold, and color. Color can be gray, green, red, blue, and yellow. Let's choose gray. For example, and use color style, style color for our title. Style color. Let's see. We can get values gray. You can merge this um, cells. To do this, you can use cell merge and the name of sheet start row, the end row, start position cell and end of position cell. We've got merge cells and you can, for example, 
to be, become border. We have to use style file cells. And to do this, you should, for example, in our case, for int zero. Create cell, 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 create cell, shoot, and row E, G, style, and should be the MC text. The problem maybe we should use every cell example. Without one end in command. We should use after merge cells. Let's copy merge cells. Hmm. Yes, I forgot to use the wrong and that's all. Yes, like you can see, you can change tags from false to true, and when from false to true, it will be printed in Excel file. The same values. That's all. You got your any question? Also, in the new version, we add possibility to work with with 
trends and tables reports saving in scripts. In example, we add some trends, real-time trend, trend, trend DB, and in other screen we add history DB table, history DB trend, and reports objects, also even slog. In script we add, we work with these objects. Objects trend DB begin, we add time. Times border, for example, in begin, in it it measured in minutes from now. For example, for the hundred minutes, it means from now about six hours and forty minutes. And when you get object save report equal to you, the the report will be saved in the folder you pointed. In this example, we add one hour from now, trend begin, and also you can point file name. In this example, trend. It, it will be done for objects we'll edit, and also we add possibility to save screenshot. Compile this, and now you can use it in your project. You can add pointed folder in this in, in the project properties. We choose project folder documents and now let's start. Let's choose some values, let's point some values, and click print. Our script will be ex executed, and you can find all reports and screenshots in folder documents reports. You can find this screenshot, and for example, we will choose even slog Excel file. You got it. Also in the new version we have possibility to save reports with picture of the trend. For example, name Excel file one save title title every ten seconds and save trend image true. And now you can see trend image here on the second sheet named trend. Also in the new version we have possibility to login log in during running time and name of the operator below your screen. It's possible on in ID and it is possible in run time. In text we add possibility to add value of input tag. It's now blank, but here we can see your PLC pointer if you want. You can remove it. And in the new version we add possibility to underline font. Also possible to make screenshot of the your picture, your screen, for example, we name it TPNG. And you can find 
put the It's possible also in runtime. Of course, you can save your Excel reports and screenshot not only by clicking print. We bind this button to the tag of the print Excel, but also you can bind this tag to the schedule. For example, if you want to report print every day in 6 a.m. or in 7 a.m. you can use for this purpose FBD scripts and date and times by choosing this object you can get current hour or current minutes and compare this value with the time you want your, your tag is on and in, at this moment prints this, the Excel reports. Also in the new version we add new graphical objects in buttons. It's named right arrow and left arrow. It's very comfortable to Control call screens, for example, zero, but not also this for this purpose. Also, you can use it like in other buttons, like other buttons for working with text. That's all. If you ha have any questions, please write an email or in our forum.